Hello YouTube and welcome to another Notepad++ tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about function list in Notepad++. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually function list in Notepad++ is a panel that allows us to access all the methods and functions of the current file. So for example, if you are programming with any programming language, you can see all its functions and methods. For example, let me show you. Here I have PHP example or file. So I'm gonna open it using Notepad++. So as you can see here, it's PHP code, just as an example. And it contains here three functions. Actually, we can see that in other view, all you have to do is to go to your menu view then click on function list as you can see here on the right now all the functions that contain your file will be displayed so you can access them quickly just by double clicking in the function you want so if I double click the function hello so the cursor go to my function hello and same thing happened to print break and add numbers okay I could open for example a C++ file okay so this is the C++ file and same thing here on the right now you can see all the classes there are two classes and the functions and method related to these classes so if I want to access really quickly any function I can just double click it for example this one here and here we go, we are, and the cursor is currently on this function. So it's pretty easy tool that allows you to navigate through your source code very quickly. And there are many languages that are supported. If you want to see the languages that are supported, so it's also really easy. You have to click on the icon here of your Notepad++ properties and you go to your directory actually. So here it's under program 26 Notepad++. So this is the current install directory and just in the root directory you can see a file here called functionlist.xml. So if I open it here we go here you can see all the, the let me just get rid of this uh, function list here so here you can see all the languages that are supported so for example let's ruby ada fortran there are a lot of languages here that are supported actually the function list used a regular expression engine in order to search for function lists. So here are the definitions of every language using just regular expressions in order to detect functions. Of course you can add your own language if it's not supported. But that's another story you have to actually put some regular expressions here according to the language that you want. But just keep in mind that all the definitions for the engine that actually displays the function list is actually inside this file here called functionlist.xml. So that was just a brief introduction to function list. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.